welcome back to Interview Ninja Step 65, Time Management and how to identify criteria that are important to you and your purpose. Can you get more long-term value and even deliverables from what you do today? It's important at this stage of life to be focused in, not just in having a good time, but of course you should be having a good time, you're young, but there are things you can do to possibly create what's called passive income, but also to not just earn, but to learn and to grow. And in our normal alphabet, there's 26 letters. So index sequential is this. So you start the search with the letter. It's, it's P. So you, you jump to letter P and then you search from there on. And a lot of people, when they're trying to remember the name of someone, what's his name? I think it begins with P. So would it be Peter, Patrick, Percival? You know. Yeah, yeah. You've you've spoken to me about that. Yeah. So the brain, the, yeah, the brain jumps to index sequential, and that's the way our brains work. Weirdly enough. So if you're trying to solve a crossword puzzle and you've got the first letter or second or third letter, you you use these file searches. So I'm personally fascinated by the relationship between think? the brain works. Yeah. And the way we have made computers, so you think computers we've work, accidentally reflected our own mind's way of thinking in the computers that we make. Absolutely, yes. And if we want to understand our own minds, what we need to do is retrofit the way computers work. Because we've accidentally made them. Well, maybe not accidentally, but we're not aware that we've made them to mimic exactly how we think ourselves. Yes. Yeah, it's called reverse engineering. It's a, it's a really, reverse engineering is an interesting thing and it, it does and doesn't work. It can work in the mechanical area, doesn't work in chemistry. You can't re reverse engineer a, a sort of- You can't uncombust something. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Rat hole. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's yeah, why I love doing true. these things. Yeah. What, uh, let's come back to our purpose. Yeah. Our purpose for this task is to analyze how much you're spending your time doing your want, what you yeah. want to do. So I, I am intrigued <laughs> as to how I've written these things down. And right. my honest answer is it felt like whatever whatever was most characteristic. We've got maximum that. 10 minutes, everybody. Steve. Rush me through okay. this. What, what's the con can we rush through to a conclusion? My conclusion is... Are you is, spending your time doing... I'm spending my what's time... What's worst case worst? What's the best and the worst use of your time in this week? Uh, my, the best use of my time, or the one that I enjoyed the most, maybe not necessarily the best, I... Oh, I, God. Sorry. Comparatives. Good, better, best. Yes. Really important yes. in English. Good, better, best. What, what was good... What's better, best, or worse, not so bad, yeah. okay. You're... Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Music practice, I give a solid 10 because... Yeah, yeah, music practice, now what does that mean? Music practice means me playing my instruments and recording my instruments and just focusing on my own music. Now, but do, is that increasing your skills as a particular that's, performer that's, or is it learning that's, about how to do it better? When, when you're saying music, could you fill in a word there for me? Music production practice or music okay, playing so, practice? So or? this is this is the whole thing. Uh, and my music production practice involves playing, involves my theory, involves my reading. It's just generally all roundness. So I'll be recording music, but I'll be break that down one level for me. This is what critical yeah, yeah. thinking should sure, sure. Yeah. So break, break, break that down. So this is an activity you scored 10. Music practice, I'll be playing. To become a conscious competent, you have to learn to think in a structured way. You can use uh, mental models and templates. One I use sometimes is endure, enjoy, earn, learn, build personal power. You can simplify that to earn, learn, grow. And it's useful just as 5W2H is, which is who, what, why, when, where, how, and how much. 
Corbin is scoring music practice as 10 out of 10, which is okay for enjoyment. But to have value, it needs to be taking him towards his purpose, towards his growth. The the real key point here is I want to give Corbin a bit of coaching in terms of structured thinking and critical analytical thinking to break down how he sees the way he is spending his time and bring more structure into it. I'll do playing and then I'll do producing. Yeah? And playing, I'll probably do about one hour and producing, I'll probably do about two hours. So is that you, is that doing something which you already knew how to do? How much learning is there in that? How much growth? Or are you just doing what you know how to do already? Are you just doing stuff to, within your comfort zone? It, 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 I'm quite often doing stuff within my comfort zone, but I, I, I need to do it because I need to make, I need to have something to show for myself to put on a CV or something, right? Or to like, here's the music that I can make. This is what I'm trying to do when I'm within my music practice, is making music that I can show that I've made myself. So there's a deliverable at the end of it. Yes. So, yes. When you watch a movie or go out and have fun, it's an important part of having a good life. However, there is no deliverable, which is something that the activity has produced. Even if there is a deliverable, is it something that is just a thing? Or is it an item of potential value that can advance your path in life? Progress towards a goal or shaped to a purpose can be thought as having created a useful deliverable. And it depends then what you do with those deliverables and how you actually can turn them into value. It's just uh, maybe just music is a better word here, minus the practice, because I'm just I'm making songs that I'm trying to then add to a portfolio. So stuff you're drilling made. down there uh, onto yeah. that on Monday, yeah. you spent ten hours on that. No, two hours on that. Two hours on that. Two okay. to three hours. <clears throat> okay. So what's the deliverable at the end of those two or three hours? Uh, a, a song, and possibly a video as well. Yeah, well, what was the actual deliverable that I oh, would see and measure? On Monday? Did, was it, or was uh, it just a question no, okay, of increase? So, so on Monday plus yesterday, I finish, I've got a song. Finish well, let's, a song. Well, let's, let's do the sums. Okay. okay. So here, three. Let's call it three hours. hours. It's yeah, it's two to three, three hours. Yeah. Three, probably. Yeah. Okay. Three hours. And then plus the. Come, come, but before we get there, Tuesday was. Music group. That's a different thing. It's his time and his life, but he has to learn to manage his own time, and possibly you do too. In school, university, and the world of work, other people do this for you. They tell you what to do. They decide where the value is. Sometimes you also get some value, like learn something useful, but usually they get the value and you just get Maybe some money, if you're lucky. That's with someone else. Whenever I say music recording, I, I explain this in my... So what's the deliverable then? Uh, a song, as, as another song, but... Um, what's the deliverable the, for the, you? Uh, it's something that I've produced and played on. Very similar to this, except the original ideas for this would have come from someone else. So I had people around to my house, and they were like, hey, here's a song, let's record it. Can you play this part for me? Can you play this part for me? What do you think about making this this long? What do you think <clears> about this? So they walked in the door yeah. uh, at the beginning of Tuesday. Yeah. You spent three or four hours. Yeah. They walked out of the door after three or four hours. Yeah. What was the deliverable for you? Uh, for me, it was a three-minute track that I could show people that I had produced. Okay. So here's my sound. This is a sound that I okay. printed onto Fine. someone else's song. Fine. Okay. Right. So my my four hour music session yesterday, plus my three hour music session on Monday, yeah. has produced a song. Whose song is it? My. Song. You wrote it. You composed it. Made it up on Monday. Finished it on Wednesday. So I could hear it. 
Uh, not it's not my phone, but no, you, you it, could in potential. It's yeah. available to be heard. It's available to be heard. Yeah, I mean thereabouts. But hopefully, if you look at my my two hour music practice session one to two, that's that's polish. So hopefully there'll be a video and a song Ooh. by the end of this evening if I can do it. Hence my time pressures. Today. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the deliverable will be a sound and a but video. I, I make them, I make them on a regular, my music practices, I make them on a regular basis and then I put them on this thing of which I have a thousand people who watch what I do, 1,120. So here, here, here's a challenge, this is a yeah. Socratic challenge. This tough, tough guy, Graham, ready? Yeah. Okay. So you do all this, who sees it? Uh, all those people. Who are they? Uh, a collection of they're people that just like my music. They're it's Prince's musical director from 1990 to 2000 now follows me. Um, some just r assortment of random people and musicians. Okay, where's MAS fit into this? It doesn't. Why not? Because M sorry for the camera. MAS are the yeah. people who are sponsoring you and funding you. They help me. They sponsor my band. Yeah. Right. They all they do. They're, they're not they're not here to push my stuff is that's it's more of a scheme than a contract now they they give me funding which i claim and they give me rehearsal space which i use but that's good for when i'm using my band because like then they've got proper band equipment but for me there's i'm much better off at home than i am in their studio oh, oh this is really authentic okay mas is wired in to a much bigger world than i mean what what you do is great. You've got a thousand followers. Some of them are probably good, but yeah. Do you are you shutting off MAS? Basically saying, well, MAS is to do with Pilot, which is your band. Yes. Okay. And and you're not actually. I can phrase this really carefully. Why isn't MAS also interested in you? They. I've been pretty tough on Corbin during this step, but. It's important he doesn't become what's called a bedroom hero, where he just enjoys doing his music and plays away in his home studio, and there's not much in the way of deliverables, and he's not actually putting hooks in the water, as my son Alexander likes to call it, where you put your deliverables out there into the world and see who bites on them as being of interest. He needs to start thinking now, forward, about how he's actually going to make a living. In step 66, I'm going to push him more towards identifying some kind of purpose, even if it's only in the relatively short term, and also setting goals so he can actually see that he is making progress towards that purpose. When you go for that interview, the people you're talking to are going to be very interested in are you a purposeful kind of person? Do you like having goals, whether they're goals you've set for yourself or whether they're goals that they may think they want to set for you? And that whole business of aligning what you want from life with what they need to help their business is really important. And you need to be conscious that that is what they are thinking about. And it should also be what you're thinking about.